We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Chef Bryn Gibson's here. You may know her from uh, be from being on Hell's Kitchen. We've got beer, bratwurst, and peppers on the menu today. Yeah. Sounds fantastic. Good I to know. see you. Good to see you too. Thanks for coming in. Of okay. course. Obviously, Oktoberfest is going to be is will be coming up in in Germany not not too uh, not too long. We're going to t yep. talk about that in a little bit. We're going to make this today. Yeah. This is one of the staple things on the menu. Tell us what we need to put this together. Well, so you know me, all my ingredients are super super simple yes. because I just love having the food speak for itself. So get yourself some good bratwurst. I just pick these up at the grocery store. But if you have a local butcher that you love, you can stop there. Right. You get some nice good mustard. Yes. I love some good mustard. Mustard. Also, grape coupon. Yep. yep. Also, um, some good uh, like whole grain mustard works. You got. We have a Budweiser here. I couldn't pick up an Narragansett Lager, but I would have. You right. got some onions. You got some spring onions to garnish. Peppers, and then your favorite rolls. I like the split top ones, like the ones with the. Oh yeah, because it's easy, easy to. It's, throw yeah, those and then you can too. also grill both sides. So, because on a regular hot dog bun, you can't. So. Right. So you're gonna basically take take the beer, put it in, yep. put it in the pan here. Take the bratwurst, Put toss it, it in, yep. and let it go. Everything just goes in the pot. Yeah, this is great if you're having like you know if you're sitting around the fire at nighttime, you're yep. looking for something to make. Exactly. This is perfect. Actually, you could just take this and you get a good cast iron pan. Throw put it, it on the, top of yeah. it. Yeah. Perfect, right? Yep. Perfect. Tailgating, you can do this as well. Exactly. And have a good beer, whatever you like. You can put put that all together. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm so this is easy, simple uh, for you to put together. <laughs> we will uh, do that. Also talk about uh, maybe Hell's Kitchen. Have a little taste of this, <laughs> and uh, you know, Oktoberfest. Back to you. We are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Chef uh, Bryn Gibson's here from Hell's Kitchen. You've probably seen her on TV. <laughs> We've got beer, bratwurst, and peppers on the menu today. Yes. So we're going to make a nice, oh, delicious, like sandwich and everything. Yeah, this, right. I All know. Right. So you like the buns that like are split? Yes. On the top. These. Right. Yeah, because so why I like them because so when you get a hot dog, uh, where's the end piece? So you get a hot dog bun and it's like this on both sides. You can't toast it. I agree. And an untoasted bun with I was not told it, but I can't. With this much liquid, it's gonna make the bread soggy and then get stuck to the top of your mouth. Whereas the crust, a it's a crunch, it's another texture. Yeah, yeah. But like, who doesn't love really toasted bread? Well, like, so you're gonna put a little butter, a little butter. Yeah, a little yes. butter, a little oil, okay. and then so usually what I actually do. It's easy. If you have a flat top like this, you toss it on like that. Right. Do a little bit of drizzle, and then some people might get hay for it. Make sure it's clean. See, I probably would have gotten rid of that bun because no, it's got the other. You still got it. You gotta eat it. Well, I do. Other ways, and you. Okay. Uh, it. Zhuzh it. But you have to make sure it's a clean surface because if it's not, then you're just getting all that really gross char on the rest of your bun. Why are you cooking that it's not uh, clean? Well, you know, I live in a shared kitchen. So. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, so this is one of my favorite recipes to yep. make because you don't have to just use bratwursts. You can use spicy Italian sausage, sweet Italian sausage. So there's a variety. Right. Um, and also the best thing is that the beer you use doesn't necessarily have to be some fancy no. high end. I use Budweiser. You can use Bud Light. You can use Cords. You can use any sort of beer. You can also do this with wine. It tastes a little bit different, yes. but any sort of alcohol, it makes it really. Now really look, good. I mean, if you're gonna have, if you're gonna make, <laughs> if you're gonna do bratwurst, are you, it needs to be beer. It needs to be it beer. Needs to be it beer. needs to be beer. Right. But I also love um, a little kind of change I do sometimes. Just throw a little cheese. A little oh, bit of that's cheese, nice. I like that. or like a beer cheese, because like you know, this is perfect for game day, perfect for football. Yep. Um, all you have to do is literally put everything in the pot and forget about it. So, Brent, I know you. All right. So you put the sausage in there already. Did you yep. grill the sausage first before you no. toss it? No. So in? what oh, you do? Because is, they look, they look a little somewhat. Yeah. Crisp. So they're a little bit brown right here. So you first put a little bit of oil in, and then you do the brats. Got it. And then everything else. And so as it, it gets the nice little crisp, because I know the worst thing that I hate is being served like a gray sausage. I agree. A gray yeah. sausage. Yeah, you want a little, a little char, a little color, because obviously you know the texture kind of goes away as you know cooks yeah. in a liquid. Yep. But that being said, the color just looks, and then also with the peppers. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing worse than like an all gray. Yeah, you don't want that sausage, right, and it's right, just right, like right. oh, like. So how long do we have to cook this for? Because that doesn't look like it's got to go for that long. No. So the beauty of this recipe is you just have to cook out the alcohol. So typically, depending on how much you use, I use. I always eyeball everything. Mm -hmm. I use relatively a cup. It only takes maybe 20 minutes to cook out. Okay. But also, the best part about this dish is you literally set it and forget it. Mm -hmm. So on game day, you have 80 other million things that you have to be worried about. You right. can just put this on a pot. You can yes. also do it in a slow cooker. Yeah, you yeah, zhuzh it a little. Zhuzh it a little. Up I a mean, bit. you can't really zhuzh no, needs, like this. Needs a little more time on that. Needs a little more time. We may, we'll we may need a little side. more oil on this. Oh, do we? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah. well, this. Yeah. All right. Uh, tell everybody if they don't know you. You did. You were on Hell's Kitchen. Yes, I was on Hell's Kitchen. I was on Hell's Kitchen season twenty. 
20? I don't well, know. There's, so many, me, seasons you were there, there's so many seasons at this point. I kind of lose track. Yeah. But it was season 20 was Young Guns. But that being said, there is a new Hell's Kitchen coming out, I believe, in September. Okay, on which Fox. is another Yes, on Fox, which is another... Um, like an old and young thing again. Right, right, so right, right. Okay. I'm very excited to see right. that. But so we're gonna have this later in just a little bit. If you want the recipe for this, you can head on over to our website. That is uh, rocho.com. Yep. Oh, these look delicious. I know. Nice and toasty.